So what we've done on our end at My Wi-Fi is made it very easy for you to close more deals. So essentially, regardless of whatever you're currently selling right now with local, you lead with social Wi-Fi marketing. Follow this strategy to get the lead, to get your foot in the door, to break the ice, speak to the owner, offer massive value upfront, start generating and mining data. Once you have the data, you can sell anything. So social media, video ads, Facebook ads, retargeting, email marketing, all that stuff, reputation. Uh, it's an easy sell once you get your foot in the door and prove yourself with Wi-Fi. So the sale process is like this. It's very simple. You qualify leads, you figure out who are the clients you should be speaking with, who you don't want to waste your time with, uh, you talk to them. Then you show and sell. So this is not so much like, hey, buy this, buy this. I see a lot of people who have copied and pasted their screenshots. You know, they're trying to sell the gatekeeper. Don't pitch the gatekeeper. You're not going to get anywhere. The gatekeeper is doing their job. They're going to say no to no matter what you're selling. You could be offering them free gold and they're going to be like, no, I don't want to accept anything because my job is to hold annoying people like you away from the owner. So you don't want to sell the gatekeeper. You want to show and sell the owner. And what you do is by qualifying and asking the right questions, you can reach the business owner. And once you do, you show them and you're selling on your heels, not on your toes. Okay. We'll go into that uh, in a little bit, but we covered it last week. It's, it's a really confident way of selling through examples and previews using our new tool rather than uh, trying to sell on a message. Uh, and then you upsell. Once you get that device installed, once you get the, uh, everything plugged in, plug and play, you, you create the campaign. We're going to go through that today, the whole flow, very you know, less than five minutes. We're going to go from messaging a client to having the device shipped and having it uh, on their way, drop ship to the client so they can just plug it in and everything is all good to go. You're already on to your next message within five minutes. Okay, that's something we did not cover last week. We're going to talk about that this week. Uh, when you upsell that, once you have that trust in place and that device is installed, you get the data, you can upsell them, like I said, anything you want. So I'll show you how to do all that in less than five minutes a day. Um, I say 20 minutes, being very generous. You can actually do all of this uh, five clients, five minutes a day um, if you know what to look for. Okay, so are you guys ready to kid? Uh, so let's go through this. I, I kind of did last week. I'm going to go through this again. But we have a methodology here that's called fast sales. So these are the fastest way to get your sales. So there are four key parts in selling. And uh, what I didn't cover here is we have the clients to look for, clients not to look for, but I, maybe we'll include that later. But in fast sales, you have four steps to any kind of sales process. You have the awareness, the interest, decision, and action. So the awareness is the business owner being like, hey, what is this? What are you guys talking about? That's, you know, that's cool. The interest is either uh, you know, providing pleasure or relieving pain. So any of those two combinations will create interest on behalf of the business owner. And then a decision needs to be made. Uh, on exactly what they are doing, and then action. Action is um, you know the actual actually doing something. So uh, our fast, and we actually take that and we do different things. We we do find. So F uh, is, is for find. Let me actually pull up my iPad over here because I'm gonna pull the um, the same graphics we had last week. There we are. So you guys remember I did the find, ask, show, and transaction. Okay, so these are the this is the fast. Um, this is the fast methodology for doing uh, fast sales. So right now we're gonna focus on find over here. And um, really what we're looking for on find is we're using Facebook Messenger. We're using the Facebook Wi-Fi Finder. So this is available, anyone with the Facebook app, you simply go down to find, you go in the bottom right. So actually just you follow my screen here. You click right down here, that three hamburger menu. Uh, and then you'll see this over here called find Wi-Fi. It's a tool found in your Facebook app. Uh, so you need the app downloaded on iPhone or Android. Uh, and then you click that and it's going to show you all the businesses in and around your area or wherever you zoom out, zoom in and search the area. You can click here to search and it will literally list all businesses that are around you that offer Wi-Fi in the name of their network. Uh, you can also search Facebook by typing in restaurants nearby or bars in Boston or restaurants in Toronto, whatever you want. Uh, and you'll get a whole list on Facebook. Uh, for that. So what you do then is you go right to the page. You'll notice that a lot of pages these days, those that use it have a big message button on their page on Facebook. So you click that you actually, uh, before you do, you scroll down and see if they're engaged or not. So this user, for example, typically replies in a few hours. You'll see them, you know, sometimes a few minutes, sometimes 12 hours or a couple days. You want to focus on the ones that are very active. Um, and also you want to go to the other options in Facebook and you can scroll down and see the name of the general manager. You can actually see the name of, you know, this is their real email address right over there. I mean, this is killer information that you can then use in, in your arsenal. So what you do is you simply message the business 
saying this. This is the, the magic message. Hey, do you offer free Wi-Fi? Okay, now remember, you're coming from your own personal Facebook account, sending it directly to the business. So they're going to answer you thinking you're a customer. This is engagement right away. And what you do is you, you kind of plant your seeds. Depending on if they say yes, then you say, hey, that's awesome. Do I need a password? Or is it the new social Wi-Fi with Facebook login? Or you can say something like, hey, that's great. Do I need a password? Or are you interested in having a password-free one-click solution? But you don't want to go there. You don't want to sell the client. See, that's a lot of, a lot of people in the group were doing that. They tried to, you know, write paragraphs in the response to the, to the page. Uh, chances are the person who's answering this, it might be the owner, depending on the business, but more often than not, it will be a gatekeeper. So if you know that they offer Wi-Fi, hey, that's awesome. Is it a Facebook login? Uh, or are you guys, uh, can I speak to the business owner? I noticed something that I want to discuss about the Wi-Fi. You can even go as far as saying, I noticed a problem with your Wi-Fi. Who should I speak to? Who manages the Wi-Fi at your location? More often than not, you know, they don't get that question all the time. A lot of you guys probably call businesses and say, hey, who manages your marketing and social media? And they're going to be like, F you. I'm the gatekeeper. I don't want to speak to you. I mean, that's part of how it goes. So you don't want to ask for that. You say, I noticed an issue with your internet or I noticed a security concern with your, you, know, you don't have a password. If they say, um, hey, yeah, just you know, password free, just log on, it's open. That's a security concern. You want to talk to the business owner about that, but you don't want to get into details with the gatekeeper. You want to go directly to the business owner and speak to them on a Zoom meeting like I'm doing right now and explaining to them exactly what you're talking about. So once you get that engagement going, however it goes, we're going to go through some scripts and some role playing uh, a little bit later on in the 30 day challenge. But all you have to do is write that magic message and, and roll with it. Say, so speak to the business owner. I want to talk to you about either a problem with your Wi-Fi or an opportunity, um, but you don't want to sound and come off as salesy. You don't want to sell from your toes. You don't want to be like, hey, who manages your social media and, and marketing and keep it all capped? You know, you're going to read right through that. Clients are going to say, no, thank you. I don't care what you're selling, but I don't want to be sold right now. No one likes to be sold. So what you do instead is educate them ask to speak with them. I just want to teach you something that you can do, relief, pain, increase pleasure, that kind of thing. So once they get the engagement, move on to the next step. Next step is ask. Okay, now remember, uh, we have our chart over here. So the next, uh, the next section we talk about is ask. So the ask is where you get the interest. So by asking the questions, this is where you start getting the clients interested. So here are some questions you can ask the local business owner, and you don't necessarily ask the gatekeeper this, you wanna go right to the business owner. And you can find all these in our members area, and I'm not gonna go through them all, uh, but we have a ton of questions, and, and, and FAQ I'll actually show you exactly where that is in our members area. So uh, log in to your uh, white label dashboards here. I'm gonna do this right now with you guys and show you where all these uh, great resources are, because a lot of people see a lot of questions on the Facebook group saying like, hey, where's this, where's that? I can tell you, they're usually in two places. Or either up here in support or up here in the members area. Let me just zoom in and show you that. So support, any questions about the platform, how to use features, um, what hardware can we integrate with, how do I plug in this device, how do I set things up, it's all under support. Uh, anything sales and marketing, strategy, questions to ask, opening the door, um, you know, contract stuff, all the graphics, all that stuff is in the members area. So click on members area inside your dashboards, and you're going to see over here, uh, we have a whole list of stuff. Uh, but over here, um, like a lot of you should do is questions. So I'm just going to look up questions, say key questions to ask a local business owner. Uh, we have uh, a video over here that will help you do that. We actually have a bunch of videos, key questions to ask. Um, these will help plant the seed. They'll help identify pain points. They'll help, uh, you know, help you understand who to speak with. And over here, actually, we also have um, depending on if you're targeting businesses with Wi-Fi, without Wi-Fi, if you are a social media consultant, if you're targeting restaurants or hospitality, we have specific training sections for that inside our members area here. So for example, um, why restaurants need social Wi-Fi, we have tons of data and tons of stats uh, that you can take, copy, paste, send this to your business owner. Be like, hey, did you know that 64% of consumers make a restaurant choice based on free Wi-Fi availability? Um, you guys should really start about, you know, start thinking about offering Wi-Fi in your location. So, um, you know, these are great questions to ask. In addition, uh, over here, we have how to pitch a restaurant. So we have a little strategy session on how to do that. I'm not going to go through the, the whole point of these Wi-Fi Wednesdays is not for me to necessarily regurgitate a lot of the um, great content we have in the members area. It's more for me to show you where to find it and then stay on live to ask you questions or for, you know, answer your questions um, to help you scale. 
So that's where you find that. And uh, over here, once you find uh, their problem or their pain or their pleasure, so you know, let's say they want to increase fans on Facebook, they want to uh, generate emails, they want to start you know, increasing customer loyalty, they want to launch a loyalty program and find an easy way for people to automatically opt into that. Whatever that one thing is, focus on it and then show them how you can solve it. Don't tell them, don't write them a message, do this. So you provide a solution, not a product, not a sale. You're providing a solution to their problem. And this is your new unfair advantage. Those who caught uh, the training last week, you're all been using this. I see tons of people who have already been sharing the screenshots. But what you do is this. So if you're a white label user or you're on a legacy plan, make sure you have your white label dashboard enabled, uh, specifically your portal. So let me show you where that is inside uh, the uh, platform. So you go over here to branding. Okay, now you're gonna have your social portal down here. So you wanna make sure that this is green and it says your white label domain is active. Then you can use this cool automatically add to CRM lead gen tool. Uh, if not, if you don't have your white label set up, uh, you know, you can still run the preview. You don't quite save it. You don't quite, you know, have the power of uh, the whole feature. You can still use it. You use securewifilogin.com slash P, the letter P, slash page name. And that's the Facebook page name. So for example, if I uh, hop over here to Facebook and I search for one of my favorite brands, let's say um, Amazon. So I go to Amazon's webpage. I can see right here in the address bar, it is simply facebook.com slash Amazon. Okay, so what I'm gonna do instead is take my portal URL so my portal is portal.yourmobileagency.com, and this also works with securewifilogin.com, but I'll use mine. So portal.yourmobileagency.com slash P slash Amazon. So I just do that. It's automatically going to generate. Oh, I'm sorry, I used the wrong URL. I'm a little confused. Uh, my social portal is called portal, mine's custom domain, is actually freewifi.yourmobileagency.com. I actually can use myself with that now because it's a little bit different. So you use your, make sure you use your portal domain. And what happens there is it will automatically generate your uh, Facebook page. Now, by request, we also added the ability to change the language on the preview. And very shortly, we're going to change the terms to be generic. So it'll be have your name and I won't mention my Wi-Fi at all. And you'll be able to also choose your Facebook app over here. So when people connect, it's not using a generic app, it's gonna use your actual white label app, you'll be able to uh, select that. So that's coming soon. Uh, but here, for example, if I was selling Amazon, a social Wi-Fi solution, I would sell them this, I would automatically connect with Facebook over here, and say thanks for connecting, enjoy browsing, it'll give me the ability to like Amazon on Facebook, also the ability to shop now, it'll redirect me to that page. And the coolest thing about all of that, if you use your white label URL, uh, by simply by me simply going through that flow, uh, if I go over here later to my sales CRM and look at my preview, so number one, by doing that, it automatically adds Amazon to here. It shows me that I have one view, the one view that I just did. So this also helps you track uh, your engagement if you send it to a lead, if they actually viewed it or not. And second, it also automatically adds me um, to the page. So it automatically adds me to the CRM lead list, which is very, very cool. Now, uh, I'll show you how to convert this and take that campaign to an actual sale with the location and everything like that in just a minute. But let me just finish showing the prospecting uh, area over here. So uh, that's the tool. That's your unfair advantage. You can use that from your mobile device. You can use it from your iPad, from your cell phone, whatever, literally whatever you're using. It is the fastest, easiest, best way to display and show your clients how your social Wi-Fi solution works. So uh, as you know, I just showed you that new Facebook campaign generator. That is your unfair advantage. Um, you can do it by slash P, or you can actually go right into the CRM here, go create new preview, and you can choose your preview type. So you can choose uh, existing campaign or Facebook page. So a lot of you, if you want to do custom stuff, you can either generate it, make a campaign, or create a campaign from scratch, and then create a preview from a campaign. Okay, you don't have to start with Facebook. You can use an existing campaign to use your previews and then send it off. Whoever goes through your flow will be added to your CRM list. So that helps a lot. Uh, so that's, uh, that's that. And as well, we, um, as you saw there, once you copy that, if people fill out that URL, it automatically gets added to your sales CRM.
Cool, it went through the lead list stuff as well. Now, the next step over here uh, is T4 transaction. So let's pull up our diagram again here. Uh, transaction is the last item over here. It is important because over here is what's actually gonna get your commitment. That is where your money will be made. So it won't necessarily be made right off the top. You're gonna, in some cases, give this away for free. But what happens there is that you're building trust. You're getting a client, you're getting data, you're getting stuff that you can actually sell. You can sell Wi-Fi marketing, followed up with Facebook ads, email, reputation, all that other good stuff. But to get your foot in the door with reputation or with email marketing or with Facebook ads, you're one amongst many pitching that same client. With Wi-Fi marketing, you are different. Okay, that is why we always suggest to lead with that. Uh, what you do is you ask for a hardware deposit anywhere between 99 to 299, so 100 to 300 dollars, in exchange for you dropping off expensive hardware, and the client can understand that. And little do they know that that is actually a sale. Okay, so they're handing over 300 dollars. You're giving them a device. If you don't pick up the device, you don't return the three hundred dollars. Okay, that's how it works. So they are actually giving you a down payment on their future sale, which makes your actual close so much easier. You're actually closing them. I don't want to give the impression that this isn't a close. This is a definite close. So you're offering them uh, the hardware uh, for a charge, and then you're offering them the first thirty days of access for free. This is almost like your money back guarantee. And you say, look, at any time in the next thirty days, if you're not happy with this, if we don't generate a lot of leads for you. And if you don't engage your customers and solve your problems, we'll come pick it up. I'll return your deposit. No harm, no foul. We'll leave as friends. No issues. It becomes like a risk-free opportunity almost for them uh, versus a sale. Okay, so uh, making sure you guys get that right is very important. Um, offer it for free. Say, look, I'm currently in your area and I'm offering a special to people in your area. Like, you know, keep it very contextual to them and then offer a uh, free hardware in exchange for a deposit and then um, tell them look after that the cost they're going to ask you what is the cost you say anywhere between 100 to 300 a month but um, you know if you're happy I can give you a deal at 150 180 whatever it is but the key is that you need once there's that engagement and if they offer Wi-Fi and the clients like look you know this is all great I like it I understand it but I don't want to give you any money right now um, even a hundred or three hundred dollars I'm just not interested you come that far with the client, you need to close the deal. So what you do is if you have trouble getting a deposit, offer the trial absolutely free. Okay, I had some people being like, how could you not get a deposit? And be like, guys, it's a $49 piece of hardware. It's, good, it's under 50 bucks. You order three, four, you have them on stock. You know where the business is. You're giving it to the business owner. You're walking into their location or you're shipping it to their actual phys physical address. You don't have to be there in person. You're shipping it to them. If they don't return it, your max loss is $49, okay? Chances are people are ethical, and I believe in, in humanity, that they're not going to just steal your router. And if they do, throw ads up on there. If they want to plug it in and use it, like monetize it in different ways, you, can, you have access, remember, at the end of the day, to whatever shows up on that device. So don't worry. Drop it in for free. Get that installation. And uh, for example, if you're doing that, it's a $0 hardware deposit. It's 30 days, absolutely free, risk-free, cost-free. And at any time within 30 days, if you're not happy with this, I'll come pick up the hardware at no cost to you. And like I said, your cost to execute all that is literally $49, a reusable hardware. If they say, no, I don't like this, come pick it up, go pick it up, give it to the next client. So like I said, the ultimate sales tool is Facebook Messenger. That's where you're going to start it. Use the Facebook Wi-Fi Finder. Type in on Facebook on desktop if you want, restaurants nearby or bars in your area or restaurants in your area, message them, see what their response time is, use the one, get their email, mark that down because you can follow up with email once you get the name of the, uh, of the decision maker. Uh, remember, you do not want to pitch the gatekeeper. You simply ask, hey, do you offer Wi-Fi to get a feeling of uh, whether they do or not? You can also see if they're serious about Facebook by number of fans that they have, by a number of shares that they have on Facebook by the number of times that they share things, stuff like that. Uh, and then uh, what you do is uh, on that stage, you plant the seed. So you get a little bit of information about the business owner, about what they're looking to do, their objectives, what's important, what the pain and pleasure is. You focus on that, you ask the right questions, you share the slash P page. Uh, in some cases, it helps if you do it right in Facebook Messenger, if it is the business owner that you know you're speaking with, or what you do is you message this via email to the business owner, that usually helps because they uh, read this on their own time and they're referred to you by their support. 
Um, so it always helps. And if you message five new businesses every single day and you focus, you have your absolute total focus for 30 days, I guarantee um, that you will get new clients in less than 30 minutes a day. If you work the numbers, uh, five prospects by five days, by four weeks is 100 messages a month. We see people with a you know, 25 to 50% response rate on that initial message, and we're waiting to see after the 30 days to give you an exact close rate. But so far, so good. We see a lot of people who are getting amazing results just by simply following this super simple uh, process. And like I said, you got to think, if you don't think you can do that, watch our replays, go through our, our marketing, be confident with the platform first because usually it comes down to internal psyche. But I can tell you now, it's probably the easiest sales thing ever to do. You don't have to pick up the phone. You don't have to get out of your house. You don't have to actually knock on doors. You just have to message on Facebook Messenger and then do a face-to-face -face meeting like this. 